Usually, Yuffie is really insecure and sees Anis as this, like, son that can do everything. But in the moment where Anis couldn't do anything, presenting in front of these counselor boomers, saying, Sacrilege! Sacrilege! How dare you use magicology and try to give everyone the ability to fly? Yuffie clutches. She's so good at talking. She's so good at diplomacy. And you saw the way that Anis looked at Yuffie, right? But man, I was looking at Tilty the entire episode. Let's begin today's reaction. You know, usually during sunsets like this, when the, 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 like the sky is red, dark red, like orange, nothing good happens in anime like this, man. Hmm. So is the prince really into her because of her, like, um, her subconscious magic powers? Or is he aware? And this is all part of his plan. Right? Because he seems very confident that he has control over everything in that one post credit scene. I was really complimenting the prince because he was trying to break all this, like, traditions of, you know, taking a commoner in. But if he's just doing this for his plan and he doesn't actually care about her, dude, then he loses every respect. It's a commoner kid! Come on! Save her! She's got a loaf of bread! Please! Sorry. These, these pompous bitches, man. Just because your spawn point was better, that no one has control over, it's gonna look down on her. Bro! Like, she clearly is just trying to survive. You're gonna gang up on a 3v1? Get out of the cart and beat these kids' asses! They need to learn what it's like. They have no empathy. Kingdom has become warped. The prince keeps having these good qualities. Like, everything he's saying right now is really good. But is it just an act? What is his actual plan? And then the current king isn't just kind of maintaining, I guess? Like, you don't want to really make the people supporting you mad. That's not a good sign, bro. <laughs> That's such a bad sign. Well, he'll pick it up and it'll be a romantic moment, but I don't think... That's a good sign for things to come. Some unfortunate things. Like what? Bro, is he just putting up an act? Or is he really subdued by her spell? I don't know. Oh, true. Yeah, I forgot about that. She's a vampire. <laughs> and she sucks. She sucks her blood. That's not your fault. That's not your fault. I think you're a nice girl. But then she's gonna say, like, maybe they're only... Like being nice because of my powers. If I didn't have them, would I really have all this? <laughs> She's so great. Those one liners. Come on, Junkerty. Come on, it's gonna go cold. Forget about your problems and then suck her blood. Man, the fan service in this show because she's a vampire is gonna be nuts. I should drink my tea too. Wait, what? Huh? No, that's her alarm system. I think she just. No, no, it should be fine. I, we heard a crash, but that means like a, a broom crashed, right? She was probably flying. We heard a some kind of like glass shattering. So I guess they threw a rock and broke a window to get in here, maybe? They're not going to kill the maid, right? They wouldn't. They wouldn't. There's no death flags just yet, right? I mean, they've been kind of... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. But she's a vampire. Maybe her vampire powers will save us. Holy shit. Shit. Yo, this is a battle mate. You can see people on the outer walls. It's the prince, right? It's gotta be. Magic! Nice Rick. Yo! Actual combat mate! Oh. Oh. So he has water magic, huh? Okay. Yeah, he's showing his true side to her, maybe? Because I care about you, or this is all part of my plan. Hmm. You're not gonna kill her. Wait, wait, this is like an act to like stab her. No, you wouldn't! Bro! What? I, so everything was just an act. It was all fake. Bro! I've been praising him because he was so kind to the commoner girl and trying to break the tradition and that was all bullshit. Why? The plan, I guess, but... Wait, no, don't trust him. This is one of the other dudes that was like, how oh, dare she? This is sacrilege. Who, Megalol? Who are you? 
Moritz. Yeah, I mean... Nah, this is all an act. I don't trust him. You saw how he was looking at us during the speech last episode, dude. The guy with the monocle and he... They were like, sacrilege, sacrilege! Wait, the alarm system. You can hear it from here? Is it the same kind of alarm? I don't know. Hmm. This guy, dude. This fucking guy. You know, I can give him some credit. He's putting in a lot of work. I hate him right now. I think we all do, but... He's putting in some work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To punch him out. Somebody, please. Huh. Really? You're gonna turn it on us right now? Wrong move. Wrong move. Then again, if we punch him out right now, we kind of prove his point that we're we're just on a rampage. No, 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 we shouldn't do that though. It kind of oh, the dragon crit. This is the first time we're seeing the dragon powers. Oh? So her physical strength is really enhanced with it. That's yeah, we should be telling you that. Yeah. Please get dumpster. I hate you. I hate you, but this looks so bad for us. This looks so bad for us. This is actually so bad in a PR standpoint. See, she is, you know, degenerate. She's out of control. Oh my god. Bro, get that shitty wand out of here. Tilty. Never mind, it was Yuffie. Never mind. I, I just said black leggings. Dude, let us leave. Tilty? Tilty? Is she gonna clutch? Oh, what's her power? So. She uses curses. What is this? Oh? <laughs> My girl Tilty's finally making her move. Oh. She's like playing into it. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. She's bailing us out. She's playing the villain. Oh, look at her. <laughs> she's so cute. Alright, let's get out of here. But, you know... Lainey, I think she's gonna be alright because she's a vampire, even though she gets stabbed. I'm worried about Idia, though. Ah, oh, shit. Where's the broom? What, what? Wait, what, wait, wait, what, 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 what? Wait, what? We could always do that? My plans. Is it really your plans or is it the prince's plans? Fuck your traditions, dude. Oh, Tilty, come on, show me the fight. Oh, no. I wanted to see the fight. So, this is a different type of flying. Oh, my God. You saw two bodies in the ground. There's a lot of blood. So, was this plan really to lure Annie's out? Oh, my God. She's a vampire. She should be okay. Worried more about Idia. What does he have in his hands? His right hand. What is that? Is that the transplant? He took it out of her. He's implanting it. The magic site. Oh. That's raw. That's raw. You we didn't do any of that. We kind of melted it and did a nice little tattoo on her back. He's like, oh. So, was it the magic site that gave, you know, Lainey the fascination powers or... It's different. It's getting interesting. Oh, there's eyes. Does that mean he's a vampire? I'm kind of confused. This looks so bad for Lainey, though. I'm not going to lie. It looks so bad for Lainey. If she has, you know, the Magisite pulled out, does she still do her vampire things or is it not the same anymore? I'm confused. Idiot, no. No, it's a minor injury on the shoulder. It should be fine. It should be fine. Lainey looks dead. I mean, she's got a hole in her chest. You'll be fine. Look at her. She looks like an Espada from Bleach. Bro, she left a hollow hole in her chest. Yeah? Can the healing patch that hole up? I don't know. Yeah, it's... Okay, so she's still a vampire, even if she has the... Magicite. But yeah, does it, how does that work now? Is she still fine or... I don't know. Maybe we should rip it out of the prince and plat put it back in, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think the prince is going to keep that. Waited years for this moment. Of course, but like she waited all this time just to get the Magicite out. 
Oh, it was actually Morse's idea. I kind of discredited him before, back saying, It's my plan. I said, It's the prince's plan, but all right. So, yeah, he was never under the fascination, though. I still hold her in the highest regard. I just happened to fucking put a hole in her chest. His willpower and resolve for his plans was so strong, it over... Like, it overrided Lainey's fascination powers? <laughs> Clearly, yes. My emotions are secondary. Nothing matters but her... But his goal. Dude, he's going full Dio. He's actually abandoning his humanity to become a vampire. But the brother and sister both are the same in the, in the same sense that they'll do anything to achieve their goals. Dragon versus a vampire. I think I'm going to team with the dragon. Yeah, she's never had magic. You've always had magic. We gave the throne to you. That's your fucking fault for being shitty. Why do you want to? She did everything to put him in the right position, but he was so incompetent and she still shy more than him. That's why he looked bad. Bro, how can you blame anybody except yourself? Yeah, what the fuck is the point? To get the public perceptions better? To make them turn on her? Nobody did this shit talk to you because you were not worthy! Bro, that's on you! <laughs> she does have a talent for magic though. Like, how can you blame her for all this? She did everything she could to be such a kind sister, to give him everything, and he fucking still backstabs us. Word them. I mean, I'm not gonna deny that, but I think he's a monster too. Dude, he actually abandons his humanity to become a bad dude. This is full on JoJo's part one. <laughs> Just the vampire part of him. He really wants to make change. Unlike his father, that seems like an ornament. Like, he doesn't do anything, huh? Maintains the status quo. His ambitions still come from a decent place. Like, he wants to close that gap. Yeah, and she had nothing. But look at her still working towards that goal. What about the magicology? It's so close. But like, even if you did, wouldn't the commoners still not have magic? It's only with Anis' magicology can we truly close the gap. What he's just trying to do is rule with absolute power over everybody. This is such a first world problem. Dude, he's in such a privileged possession. But he's like, they're all curses. I was born in the finest fucking family. Get so much magic, but they're all curses. Take him out. Take him out. But you can't kill your own brother, could you? Nah, let's Excalibur this motherfucker, dude. Let's Excalibur. <laughs> Limit release right now. Oh, she's dual wielding. Ooh, spoken like a true person that should assume the throne. Oh, you really think you can beat me? The dragon powers? Vampire powers, I guess. But like, I don't think he's still at a level where he can beat us. He's gotta learn some lessons. Come on, smack him up. Re re release limiter. Release limiter. Show him that Excalibur. Suddenly, your words are making sense, my sister. Release limiter, dude! Excalibur is ass! This is such an interesting clash of ideology, though. At last, the brother's plan is on its way, so he wanted to become a vampire this entire time because he needs the power in case the revolt happens, which will happen once we try to overthrow the status quo of trying to close the gap between the commoners and the royals who have magic. But let me tell you this. What would it matter if we went his direction? Because the commoners still wouldn't be able to use magic. That's just not going to happen unless the contract of the spirits. I, I don't know how that really works. The only way the gap can really be closed is with Anis's magicology. That's the only way a power gap gets closed and it's a much more peaceful solution. Also, we still have the power so we can handle revolution, right? The prince, I don't know how to judge him because he's seemingly coming from like a good place. All his goals are good, but the methods in which, which he tries to get the goals done, it's so bad. But things are going to get pretty hype next, next episode. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos 
videos and playlists to my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.